What's up guys, so in this video I got two one minute clips of a couple of tips. Now the first one is really important when you're troubleshooting. Okay, you'll see why it's important to check airflow first before we start diving into other issues that may be occurring. Airflow first, okay? The second one, I'm working on a unit that has two condenser fans. One is running, one is dead. And it's just a little tip that will help get the unit going while you're out getting the new fan or you're waiting for that fan to show up. And it worked for me and it's worked for me in the past a bunch of times so I know it's gonna work for you too. Let's get to the videos. Okay, we have some frost on this unit and I've seen a lot of techs jump to conclusions at this point of the game when they see frost on a suction line in an air conditioning application. One, they think it's short of gas. Two, they think it's a metering device problem. But before you get into any of that, there's something more important that needs to be checked first. And that's, do we have any airflow? Is the fan going in the right direction? Now, if you guys work on this style of York rooftop, you'll know that this panel, when the fan starts, will slam shut when the blower's running. Well, it has a little bit of suction, but not like the way it normally does. Now it might be hard to see in the video, but that fan is running backwards. So we're gonna rectify that problem, and I guarantee you this will be rectified when we switch the fan up and get it running in the right direction. So before you get into short of gas, metering device problem, check airflow first, guys. Just make sure. So we have a dead condenser fan motor right here. I put some cardboard over this, I'll tell you why. This one's running, I know it doesn't look like that in the video, but it is. We don't want air going through this way this fan running. We want air moving through the condenser as much as possible to reject the heat. So to show you how well this works, I've got my 605i smart probe set up, monitoring how much heat is coming off the condenser. And on the smart probes app, we have 139 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? I'm gonna take the cardboard off and show you what happens. So I'm gonna pull this cardboard off now and we're gonna watch what happens. Watch that temperature drop right off. And eventually those compressors are gonna go off on high head because we're not rejecting as much heat as we were. So just a little tip for you guys, use the cardboard on a dead condenser fan motor when one of them is dead, when you have two fans in the system. 